hello everybody welcome back to my channel how are you pray that everybody's doing well today pray that you've had a good day today how's your family i pray that everybody is well there too coming into the comments as always and just let me know how everybody's doing it's almost like a check-in <laughs> Checking in, seeing how everybody is, making sure that everybody's doing okay. My family and I are doing well, thank the Lord. It's just busy, 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 busy between trying to um, um, do what, getting schoolwork done because we have two virtual learners and getting schoolwork done. And um, then the two little ones, they are hybrid learners, and but things are coming along smoothly, trying to see what our um, county is going to do next. We got some dates and stuff set, but there's things that's happening, and just want to see what they're going to do next. But anyway, let me know what's going on inside your county with your schools. How are the schools coming along in your area? Have you all started back? Have they? Have you started back and they stopped? Um, I don't know what your plans may be, but we have plan A where there's no restrictions and then plan B where there's hybrid learning. You have some online remote learning and you also have some in-class learning. Then we have plan C where it's total remote. Uh, there are no kids in school. Tell me where you are right now. What's going on if you have children or you work in the school system? What's going on? Please share because it's good to know um, what other states or counties or where wherever you live um, are doing. Yes, I love to know that. We are excited. It's almost time for the puppies to come. Um, they're supposed to be born by the end of this month. And I'm telling you, <laughs> these babies are so excited about um, the puppies coming. And I am excited with them. But I know that they'll take up most of the puppies' um, time. Soon as I hear anything about them being here... I would definitely let you know because I know some of you um, are dog lovers and you see them like I do as family. Yes, I see my pets as family and they take on our last name and everything. <laughs> yes, They take on our last name and everything. I, um, I had a dog um that we had for about we had for seven years. Um, but we came home one day and found him that he had passed and he was it, it was a sad situation for my girls and we haven't had a dog since. And cause that was really hard um for us because we loved him so much. And yes, he had our last name. When he would go to the vet, they would call out his first and last name. And I just thought it was the cutest. But you all, he knew himself. <laughs> he knew his name. When they called it out, he was raring to go. And he was jumping up. But these little guys that we're getting, and yes, they're supposed to be boys. Um, We have certain colors and stuff in mind. But we don't never know exactly what we'll get until they're actually born because she you know the the breeder doesn't know um if they're girls or boys now i don't know if they can find out or whatever but um before time i don't know that but we don't know exactly what the litter is going to have if it's going to have the majority of girls if there be majority of boys if there will be black ones white ones chocolate ones or what but they just want their boys they do have certain colors in mind, but one of my grandbabies said, as long as it's a boy, whether it's whatever color it is, she said, I just want it. So 
um, they are really excited about that. And um, they've been shopping. I think I told you that before. We They have some items already prepared and there's a few more things that they that they need to get. And they'll probably finish that probably next month or right in December before time um, getting little things. But they have a little stockpile already. <laughs> they even have their beds in there by the fireplace. <laughs> Just building the excitement. You know, children are only children once. They're only little, little ones. And that purity of the end of their innocence and um of them being small and not knowing and it's just so exciting. And I build on that by doing different things and helping them and and it is just a blessing. It is a blessing. Remember I told you all, make those memories. Because when you are no longer here, those memories will be with them. Make those memories. And you'll hear them be saying, well, you won't hear them be saying what I'm saying. But a lot of times they could be saying, my grandma used to, or my mama used to, or my auntie, or my auntie, auntie, however you call them, or my uncle, or my grand granddaddy, whatever it was, make those memories with them. Those memories will be with them forever. Even when we we won't, we uh, may not, but that memory will be with them. Just make the best memories that you can possible. Make everything exciting. Outings, going to just going to the store, planning for vacation. What even going? I can make going to get ice cream exciting. <laughs> Yes, you make it exciting and make it fun for them. All right. I love each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single video. And remember to stay encouraged and blessed and in every way possible, strive with everything you got to stay Free. Yes. All right. Talk, release, and let go. Talk, release, and let go. See you in my next video.